every week with the New South Show podcast, we're going to end with uh, Throwback Thursday feature where each South one Show. of us, what did I say? New South Show podcast. I said show podcast? You did. Jesus. New South Show, period. <laughs> per, per. <laughs> um, Myself, Rod, and producer Don, Phenom Don, Don Juan. You think Miles, Miles, do you have a throwback Thursday? You want to talk nah, about Nah, he's too young to have a throwback or anything. <laughs> That's I'm I know <laughs> I know I'm aware of that. A throw, throwback Thursday. So we're each going to take a story from the past, um, provide some context, tell a little bit deeper story. Mm-hmm. Um, for me this week, I'm going to start with um, the year Ryan Harrow and Walton High School came to the Holly Invitational. Mm. I believe it was their second game of the tournament. They faced off against Reggie Bullock. Bullock and Kinston High School. Is that how you, that's how you pronounce his name too, right? I mean, Bullock. tomato, tomato. I ain't never heard of Bullock like that. Mama call him Bullock. I'm gonna call him Bullock. Yeah, that's kind. I think that's where it's that's, at. That's a coming to America. Uh, Bullock is really just if you want to exaggerate for like a PA announcement. Bullock. I, like I think I think Brian Hanks hit him with the Reggie Bullock type joint one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian Hanks. Um, but anyway, Ryan Harrow had the flu. And none of the fan, no, no one knew, but you can kind of tell as the first half started going on that he was not feeling like himself. Mm-hmm. Anytime there was a dead ball, any any stoppage of play, he is hands on knees. And if you know Ryan Harrow, like Ryan Harrow is a ball of energy. He's yeah, never tired. Yeah. Um, he scored 23 points in the first half of that game. Mm-hmm. Came in the second half, scored two pretty quickly, and then was l- – Legitimately carried off the court and taken to the hospital, mm-hmm. uh, and treated for flu for for the flu basically. Mm-hmm. Um, Walton ended up losing the game because Reggie Bullock had twenty seven points. Bullock. Um, they also on that team had Dory Hines, who's the coach at Parrot Academy now, mm-hmm. uh, who did his thing, and Dallas Best, who who was a really good role player on, on that Kinston High team as well. Mm-hmm. the The story from all that though is in that first half. Ryan Harrow could not miss. I, I mean, it was like, I always looked at Ryan Harrow as a magician. It, certain things he could do is like, man, how, how did you do that? And a lot of the way he was putting the ball in the basket in that first half was on some, you could feel it was like a, a higher power in the building or something. Right. And then there's a picture. There's a great photo of his coach. Like, Ryan is hunched over. Like, you can tell he's got nothing left. Mm-hmm. And they have to drag him out of the gym. Mm-hmm. And I think to me that just that proves like how much that kid loves the game. He was in there, he was going to play until he absolutely could not because that was one of those high school teams that without him they were horrible. They're done. There's no hope at all. Mm-hmm. Um Ryan Harrow who al- almost ended up at Word of God his senior year. Oh, I do remember that because his uncle, father, brother-in-law, bro- fam- some sort of family. Um, was the coach at the time? Yeah, yeah. Ryan was a kid, man. That you you always felt like he was on the cusp, like he he could potentially be that guy, but he just went through some things in college. I mean, I don't think he made the right decisions going to different colleges. Right. I think it messed up, messed yeah, with his head a little bit. Because I mean, you went to a Kentucky team and it went to the NIT, like you know that's you went to a, you went to a Kentucky team that that was honestly since Calipari's been there, it's probably been the only worked. year they were filling spots. It was like man. we have got to put a team together. Right, and it was a bad year. Right, and if you go back and look at the footage, because they've used a lot of that, they filmed a few ESPN yeah. pieces that year. Uh huh. And in practice, yeah. Cal is a little bit more aggressive than yeah. than usual, and it's usually centered at at Ryan. He's made money though, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, he's overseas right now. He's- I saw him uh, every year we go to um, the ludicrous weekend shit with John. He's there. He's there at, at the game. Yeah. Um, I've always tried to figure out why he did like lace him up. Yeah, you know somebody I, put you on. A team? I actually talked around a lot on Twitter, man. So. He's cool. He's yeah, he's really cool. Cool dude. Um, probably someone good one day to get on as a guest and just kind of talk about his high school time and kind of how social media and the whole internet video thing helped him or hurt him. And I'd like to hear his story at least. We can. We should get him on. Um, so that that's my throwback Thursday. Ryan Harrow's flu game at the Holiday Invitational. What what should have been the John Wall Holiday Invitational at the time? Oh. I'm gonna, my throwback Thursday is going to be John Wall's senior night versus Greenfield. So, you really are a Greenfield stand. I am a Greenfield stand, bro. Sure you know. I am. I am. Let I love Parrot Greenfield. ever get good. <laughs> I'll be right there with you. <laughs> I am a Greenfield stand. No, so that game was like a highly anticipated game out of Wilson. Like, because Greenfield had three or four D1 guys. Had Brian, Brian Richardson. Brian Richardson was at South, going to South Carolina. Jeremy Jefferson was going to Drake. 
Uh, Brian McNair was going to Gardner McNair, Webb, and yeah. Jared, Jared Hinton was going uh, D two, and Darren Cahill. All they had a really good team. All, all five college guys. So another he, game I was at. Yeah. yeah. So that was a highly anticipated game. That game started. You know. Where the guy John Bishop did CJ those guys doors were locked during yeah. the girls game. Yeah, it was pretty different. So the game started. Brian was cooking like destroying CJ. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with CJ that game, but Brian was destroying was destroying him every game. Uh, I don't know what happened. They took they took him out. They put Dez on Brian, and that was it for Brian for the rest of the game. Sounds about right. <laughs> but the bigger story was John was just kind of – he was kind of coasting a little bit initially. He was just chilling. He knew he was picking his spots. One of the uh, players on the team – I'm not going to say his dad's name uh, because I, I don't want to put him out there, but he, he he's talking to John. Terrible. Chirp, chirping Terrible thing John. to do. Like, come on, John. Come on, John. Like, I'm boring. pretty sure he was yelling stuff about Ian Miller. Well, it was it's possible? Ain't no tell him. He he. Said, in terms of like John not being number one, right? It could have been. It could have been something like that. But he was just like, show me, show me something, Mister All American, blah, blah blah. So then, next thing you know, John takes the ball coast to coast, dunks the shit, turns around, looks, and just screams at him. I was like, if you don't sit the fuck down, yeah, hush, just hush. like hush. <laughs> so at that point, John just proceeded to go ballistic. Yep. Forty points, triple double. It was actually a really, really good game. Though. It actually went to overtime. Um. John made the game saving block, which we will show you. Yep. Um, uh, Greenfield called a play. Uh, they got two shots at two, the basket. Two clean looks. Yep. Then this what his first clean look. Then the second one got smacked. Got smacked. And then John whole family went in the corner, and John you know grabbed his jersey and shit. You know his family was out there, and, all wearing shirts with his face on yeah, it. Yeah, they, they were pretty deep, man. So that was in the clip. You've actually I don't know who the guy is, um, but there's a guy that runs up to John after that game's over and gets right in his face and and screams, "That's why you're number one. That's why you're number one." And John's just looking at him like, "Get the fuck out!" Of <laughs> that was a, that was a really 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 good game. Um, that was the, John's last game at Ortega. Last last game at Ortega. Yeah, man. So that was you know that was interesting. You know, I was hoping Greenfield was going to win that game. You know, I'm sure you were. Yeah, well. well, they. And if you're looking for how that season ended, make sure to to check the first episode of Throwback Thursday. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm a Greenfield stander, right? I mean, it's interesting. It but is to be fair. Like that's. I, the first time I remember ever seeing you, you were denim danned out, and you were. Uh, what lost. is this denim shit you keep bringing, bro? Like, so Webb always tells a story that when first time you <laughs> saw me, I had all denim on. First of all, fuck you. Fact. Second fact. of all, it's a fact. I've, you've never seen me wear all denim anywhere. That is incorrect. That is not. Is it correct? I, I will. I will find. There is foot. I mean, I filmed it for a hundred percent. Because like, th- the first time I think you, I, th- I saw you guys were at Greenfield. It might have been like one of those Christmas tournaments or something like that. I think. No, no, Ooh, no, no. Probably Trinity, not me. Trinity versus Greenfield. Not, not me. Probably the first time I went over there. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you were there. Then, yeah, Cause yeah. Because I, I definitely, right. I still remember what I missed. Then. I missed West Charlotte's that, that at seven. Logan dunk. Seven. I missed Logan's dunk to, oh, to so, respond after oh, at, uh, uh, either uh, Zoe or Quay had that dunk or something. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zoe, so who had that dunk? I think it was Zoe. I don't know, but I, never, I was running down the sideline. I got the reaction, and as soon as I got the kids' reaction, they were like, "Oh!" And I was like, "Wait, what happened?" They were like, "You just missed all the kids' dunk." J- Jalen like, Jalen caught the inbound pass, threw it cross court to Logan. Logan took like one dribble, just took off on Zoe, like posterized. I get, so that's funny you said it because the, the very next game, that's when Dennis played in the the Holiday Invitation and blew up. Like he was just Dennis Smith at that point. After that point, he went to Dennis Smith, the five star NBA, the New York Knickerbocker. Right, 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 right. So I get to transition perfectly into my Dennis Smith story. Ooh. Then, huh? Oh, I didn't that, see. I didn't know what your story that's was. Where, that's where I'm going with my throw. Okay, okay. Is Dennis's dunk that pretty much, I guess, made him like no oh, here when back. he when he dunked on the. Foreign Australian kid or whatever. Oh, yeah. oh the hezzy. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because I just feel like that's his dunk now. First, you got the first the, the cockback. Yeah. If not now, a damn sure he killed that shit in high school. He did that shit that over and over. Year. He almost too. destroyed the guy from the Spurs last week, bro. He missed it. Though. Oh, he, yeah, he tried yeah, dunking yeah, too yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, welcome to America, motherfucker. Right. I, I didn't have an Australian joke. It was, it was gonna be racist. I was hoping that it was there's gonna be an accident involved. Uh, <laughs> that game was a blowout, yeah. Oh, definitely. So like the fact that he was even still playing, it wasn't in the second half of that. I half? think it was in the second. I half. I think it was like early in the second half. Though. Yeah. 
pull them out as soon as you see you, you see like an eighth grade Joe Bake in the background going crazy. If you look it's back crazy. at that, you see, yeah. Joe Bake was on that. You see Joey Baker. Joe Bake was on that team. Yep. Yeah. Oh man! Did Joey Baker ever get team. run? No, 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 no. Joey was on the next year's yeah, team. Yep. Joey, yeah, yeah. He was left. just hanging out in the crowd. Did Joey yeah. ever get run with Dennis? Yeah, he, he yep. started. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, that one was year? The year. That was the year did that you, Quay left, and it was Zoe Dennis. The Who did they have? They had the uh, Joey Boykins did. come in, and they had yeah. the other kid. What, who's the other kid from Cam, Legacy? Uh, 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 you know, Leftwich. Left right? left yeah, yeah. Deshaun and then they had Cam. Oh, the dunker. They had Cameron Campbell. He's like all CIW kid now. Dennis got on Joey hard that year because he's like you. Have to step up and help me out here. Yeah, it forced him to play a lot, but that was yeah. good for him. Because we know we beat Trinity like thirty plus both times that year. Who's we? I was worried. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you never know with you. <laughs> like, that's a good question. That was a good question. That was a good question. Thank you, bro. See, my miles is apart. You know, it, it could have been I, Greenfield. I that's man. what I, I was thinking. So that's why it's weird. I'm People saying. say it's weird that I, I still stand for Greenfield because you know we had the whole controversy when we left Greenfield and went to Rota guys. So you know that was that was something. Yeah, why did y'all do that? <laughs> I'd rather not tell this. Story. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not tell this. It was actually funny, but no, I won't tell that story on camera. No, no. Nope. Damn. Nope. 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 I really like to know it. I'll tell you. I just won't tell you on camera. Well, I don't want to know it as much off camera. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to know this. Nah, it was just honestly just a better situation, man. And it wasn't no recruiting type shit. That it was made out to be like Ooh, the R word. Yeah. You know. Well, look, that is going to be the three stories for this week's throwback edition. Um, as always, there are tons and tons and tons of hoop state stories mm-hmm. that we haven't touched on. That hopefully we will touch on. Get ahead of the game though. If there's something that you guys want to know about or hear mm-hmm. about or remember. Um, please leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it. We've actually had a few comments lately on the YouTube asking where the old videos are. Um, the old videos are unlisted. So if you want links out, if you ask for them in the comments, we will provide them. Yep. And, and also we're going to repackage that old content for things like this. So when we're telling stories, we'll, we'll be able to give, give the footage back to you. Mm-hmm. As always, mm-hmm. you can find us at the new South show on, on Twitter. Mm hmm. Rod is at Rod underscore Bridgers. Or, I am or Rod at your mom's house dot um, com. Eating, eating biscuits backslash eating biscuits. <laughs> eating biscuits. <laughs> eating biscuits, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am Web at Hoop State Web. 